What's up guys, today I'll tell you about the two most beautiful 4K smart TVs, the LG G2 and Samsung Frame. G2 is the Evolu TV, whereas the Frame is the Kyolo TV. LG G2 is in 55 inch, 65 inch, 77, 83 and 97 inch. LG G2 is the world's first Evolu TV which has a 97 inch model. On the other side, Samsung the Frame is in 32 inch to all the way 85 inch. Both TVs have 4K resolution, 4 HDMI ports, 3 USB ports in LG G2 and 2 USB ports in Samsung the Frame. LG G2 offers 60 watt sound output and Samsung Frame 2022 has 20W for the 32-inch, 43-inch and 50-inch variants and all larger screen sizes have 40W of sound output. Samsung the Frame has Quantum 4K processor and LG 2 has an Alpha 9 Gen 5 4K. These features work with their TV's processor to optimize the best color in image and clarity in audio. LG 2 has game optimizer mode whereas Samsung the Frame has a game bar. There's a lot to talk about if you're new to my channel make sure to like subscribe and turn on the bell notification so that you can stay connected with the cutting edge innovations samsung frame 2022 has a solar setting mode that doesn't need batteries yes guys it intelligently uses indoor and sunlight to charge its battery thanks to the solar panel at the back from the front the remote doesn't have many buttons to confuse you. Samsung has tried to keep it simple and useful. You'll also find the USB-C port if you have to charge the remote fast. And when you plug it to charge the remote will start indicating a red light, means the remote is charging. Samsung also has said that the solar cell remote is made from recycled plastic to save the planet from any danger. Remote has a built-in microphone to give commands to your TV thanks to voice assistant support. For LG2, there's a magic remote control that has shortcut buttons for voice assistants, some special quick access buttons for streaming apps, and a scroll wheel. On the top part, you'll find a bunch of useful buttons and also around the scroll wheel. Samsung Spacefit Sound optimizes the objects in your room and provides the best audio quality without any distractions. Both TVs have OK Google, the Google Voice Assistant, Alexa, the Amazon Voice Assistant, Bixby the Samsung voice assistant, but this is only for Samsung smart TVs, not for LG. LG smart TVs have LG voice search. Gaming performance is hugely important for all modern smart TVs. G2 and Samsung the Frame offers all the specifications required for a smooth, immersive gaming experience like variable refresh rate technology, 120Hz refresh rate, instant response time, and auto searching to game and picture mode. LG G2 has G-Sync, FreeSync Premium and Dolby Vision support whereas Samsung the Frame only has FreeSync Premium. LG G2 Game Optimizer Mode has more info on the screen and game settings compared to previous model and its UI is also improved. Samsung the Frame has a super ultra wide game view and game bar to get all different game settings. Samsung the Frame Artist Store gives you a choice of over 1400 artworks from across the world. You can even choose to upload your own photos to be displayed as well, thanks to 6 gigabits of storage. There is a motion sensor that intelligently switches to art mode when you're not watching the TV, and when you start watching the TV, it will turn off the art mode. Same thing is also in G2 because it's a gallery design TV and has gallery mode that helps you display any of your artwork when you're not watching the TV. Samsung the Frame 2022 is all about style. The borders are slightly thicker than other 2022 Samsung nuclear TVs, but it's still thin. You can customize the bezels to match your room wall. Bezels are available in different colors and changing the bezels is not too difficult. Samsung has done its smart work. Bezels can magnetically attach to TV and with this smart work we can have different looks and feel anytime we want. This TV comes with a one connect box which has all the inputs. You'll find this TV with a slim fit wall mount to mount this TV on your room wall all thanks to its flat build that leaves no space between the wall and the TV. There are also two stands with cable management if you want to place TV on the table. By the way, this is really a nice way to decorate a smart TV. There are shelf with the TV and this is also a rotatable wall mount which is just released by Samsung this year. It's common that we wash TV in landscape positions, but now you can also wash TV in a vertical way, which is so interesting. This TV is the QLED TV, it offers billions of vibrant colors and good quality contrast. 
whereas LG2 also has a very slim build with an attractive flush to the wall design and even bezels around the screen are so slim. LG G2 has a single stand that supports the TV from the center. The studio design stand which has three feet and cable management, you will have the freedom to pick and place the TV anywhere in the room, wherever you feel good to have. Both LG G2 and Samsung frame are specially designed for wall mount, but if you don't want to drill holes in the wall, you can mount it here on a studio stand, like a painting, although the stand is sold separately. Samsung has done many improvements in its brand new 2020 TVs, and in Samsung the frame there is a new anti-reflection with matte display to reduce the effect of your ambient light, giving you all the details in color contrast of the image. Many people call this TV a Samsung picture frame TV, which is obvious because this is not just a TV, it also acts as a home decoration and now it has a matte display which reduces the effects of light on the screen and offers all the real colors as we see in the dark. LG2 EOLED has separate pixels, each pixel can individually optimize the perfect black. The new LG2 is capable of reaching higher peak brightness, 30% increase in peak luminance when compared to its previous generation. LG2 also features a heat sink for the panel, it pulls heat away from the panel making it run brighter and also reducing image retention. As the panel cools down, LG2 Dolby Vision IQ and Dolby Atmos support improve the picture and sound quality. You will see the deep blacks with surround sound. I wanna know your thoughts, don't forget to drop in the comments and thanks for watching the video till the end. I'll see you again in the very next one. Peace.